Let's Annotate. Watch this for a quick tutorial on how to annotate a breast ultrasound. The first method of annotating a breast ultrasound is the quadrants method. This is where each breast is split into four quadrants. The upper outer quadrant, the lower outer quadrant, the lower inner quadrant, and the upper inner quadrant. Our next method of annotation is the clock method. The breast is split into equal segments for both full and half hours. Note that no quarter hours are used. 12 o'clock is at the top of the breast, the 6 o'clock is at the bottom of the breast. Note for this method that 3 o'clock is on the inner part of the right breast, but on the outer portion of the left breast. And the same thing with 9 o'clock. The 9 o'clock position is in the outer portion of the right breast, but on the inner portion of the left breast. Centimeters from nipple is our next method of breast ultrasound annotation, and this measures the distance from the nipple. We use the designation CMFN, which stands for centimeters from nipple, and we use a linear transducer as a ruler. You place the linear transducer next to the nipple in a radial plane. Most linear transducers are five centimeters across, and then you use this linear transducer as a ruler to measure how far away from the nipple the mass is in centimeters. There's multiple ways to annotate this. You can say N plus the number, which is nipple plus the number of centimeters from the nipple, or you can say N and then the number, which is nipple and then the distance from the nipple in centimeters, and then you can also say the number CMFN, which stands for the number of centimeters from nipple. The next method of annotating a breast ultrasound is transducer orientation. You can use either sagittal and transverse or radial and anti-radial. First, we'll cover sagittal and transverse. A sagittal plane, abbreviated SAG, is also known as a longitudinal or long plane in the body. The sagittal plane is our vertical or our up and down slices throughout the body. A transverse plane, we annotate this TRV for short, are our horizontal slices throughout the body. And I like to think of the horizon, which is flat or side to side. In breast imaging, sagittal and transverse are not routinely used. Mostly they're used when evaluating the axillary region. Our next method of breast ultrasound annotation is a transducer orientation called radial, or RAD for short. This is the most important transducer orientation in breast imaging. The transducer is turned so that it follows a line outward from the breast. And I like to think of rays of a sun. The radial plane radiates from the nipple to the periphery of the breast. The radial plane is important because it follows the course of the milk ducts where most of the breast pathology originates in the breast, which is why it's the most accurate plane to use in breast imaging. Our next method of breast ultrasound annotation is a transducer orientation known as ARAD, which stands for anti-radial. The anti-radial transducer plane is exactly 90 degrees perpendicular to the radial plane. Unlike sagittal and transverse, the radial and the anti-radial scan planes are used only in breast ultrasound. Many Many pathologies in the breast are ductal in nature, coursing radially in the breast. So if only sagittal and transverse planes are used in the breast, the shape of a pathology can be misrepresented, and shape is really important in breast imaging. The last method of breast ultrasound annotation is an antiquated method known as the ABC or the 1-2-3 labeling methods. This method of labeling the breast is not really used in practice today, but it's important to know this method of labeling just in case you come across it in practice. For the ABC method, the breast is divided into three sections, and this delineates the depth of an area in the breast. The letter A would stand for an anterior or a superficial depth, B would represent a mid-depth in the breast tissue, and C would represent a posterior or deep depth in the breast tissue. For the 1-2-3 labeling method, concentric imaginary circles are drawn around the breast, and this delineates distance from the nipple in general terms. Today, we use centimeters from nipple for a more accurate representation. For the 1-2-3 labeling method, 1 is, means the mass is close to the nipple, 2 means it's midway between the nipple and the breast periphery, and 3 means it's far from the nipple. The last step is putting together all the information that you've collected. Every breast center has a slightly different method of annotating. At the breast center where I worked, we would label a 
breast image as follows. We'd use right or left breast, then clock distance, then centimeters from nipple, and finally transducer orientation. So as an example, left breast, eight o'clock, six centimeters from nipple, A-rad. For more videos on ultrasound, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for our next video on Wednesdays.